Tenants of a building in East Orange are fighting back against their landlord. People living there showed us collapsed ceilings, moldy bathrooms, and water damage in their homes. CBS 2's Christine Sloan reports they're now taking the building's owner and management to court. Carla Evans says at first her four bedroom apartment in this historic East Orange building seemed like a dream for its spaciousness, but now it's become a nightmare. This bathroom right here is with the, all the black mold. The mother of six showing us what she says is mold in her bathrooms. You're breathing it in the air. So, and especially in the bathrooms, we can't take a good shower. We'll That's go. your fire exit door? It doesn't open? Evans also says her kitchen is unusable. If you get down there, you'll see this big hole down here. Evans and dozens of other residents of 75 Prospect Street banding together Wednesday. They say complaints over the past seven years about mold and collapsed ceilings as a result of major leaks have been ignored. The leaks got so bad that the ceiling actually collapsed and fell on me. I was hospitalized for that. Other residents say they risk their lives because of broken elevators. The other option was to go up four flights of steps and to walk across the roof of the building. I chose to walk across the roof of the building. A Rutgers University legal group filing lawsuits on behalf of the tenants against one wall communities and several management groups. We are filing a complaint to request that the court appoint a receiver to assume the role of landlord and make immediate and, and take immediate control of management of the property here. There are fines that are being um, uh, given to this owner about the violations. East Orange's mayor says enforcement officers will be back and force the owners to make repairs. We have been here anytime that they have calling us. Ibrahim Ahmed, with a massive hole in his bathroom ceiling, says he'll keep paying more than three thousand dollars in rent. But won't move out. We are united. We want to stand together uh, to fight for our rights. A one wall community spokesperson says the company and its owners have, quote, fully divested from East Orange and have had no business interest in East Orange since at least April 2022. We reached out to one of the management companies. One person who didn't want to be identified claims 70% of tenants haven't paid rent, and that's why repairs can't be made. Live in the newsroom, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Christine.